Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the Object Selection Tool in Photoshop. The Object Selection Tool uses artificial intelligence to detect and select several different types of regions in images, including objects and people and animals, and also skies and water, buildings and plants, trees, and even some types of ground and flooring. When the Object Finder option is enabled, Photoshop displays a magenta overlay wherever it detects an object or a region in the image. We can customize the overlay options by clicking on the gear icon in order to change the color as well as the thickness of the outline and the opacity of the overlay. To select an object, simply click within the overlay. To add to, subtract from, or intersect more than one selection, use the icons in the Options bar or hold down the Shift key in order to add to the selection, the Option or the Alt key in order to subtract from the selection, or the Shift key plus the Option or the Alt key in order to intersect a selection. If you prefer to manually select an object or select multiple objects at one time, Choose the Rectangle Selection Mode to draw a rectangular region around the object or the Lasso to draw a rough lasso around the outside of the object. When I release the cursor, Photoshop will shrink wrap the selection to the object. To select objects that are on different layers, we can enable Sample All Layers in order to select them without having to target the layers on the Layers panel. If you want to view all of the detected objects in the scene, we can click on the checkerboard icon in the options bar. Now, if we wanted to mask all of the objects on a single layer, we would target that layer in the Layers panel and then choose Layer and Mask All Objects. Photoshop will automatically generate layer groups with layer masks for all of the objects detected within that layer. In this example, I'll target the layer mask for the bowl and I'll add a hue and saturation adjustment layer within the group in order to change the color of the bowl. While the object selection tool did most of the work for me, I see that it missed a small spot in the bowl. So I'll tap L in order to select the lasso tool, then select this small area here, target the layer mask in the layers panel, and choose Edit, Fill, and fill the mask with white to reveal the hue and saturation adjustment layer in that area. Now before we wrap up, I want to point out that Photoshop has two processing options for creating selections using the Object Selection tool as well as when using the Select and then Subject menu item. The Select Subject Options within the Select and Mask workspace and the Quick Actions that use Select Subject on the Properties panel. To choose the default settings for these tools, I'll select Photoshop, Preferences, and then Image Processing. We can choose Device for quicker results and Cloud for more detailed results. Because the cloud option will process the selection on Adobe servers, you'll need to be connected to the internet for it to work. If you experience any issues with the object selection tool, you can change the selections processing from faster to more stable. Under the hood, this will remove the calculations from the GPU to the CPU. Finally, if you need to override the image processing preference on a per selection basis, Select the Object Selection tool and then click on the downward pointing chevron to select the desired processing option. However, this item is not sticky, so after clicking in the image area to make your selection, the option will revert back to the selected Select Subject Processing Preference. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.